McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo is often seen with a wide smile that has led to the assumption that he is a jovial person with a happy-go-lucky attitude. Daniel, however, has stated that he has a much more serious side to himself as he has now explained to Autosport. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Daniel Ricciardo is still a sore loser. Daniel began by explaining where it all comes from. I know where it comes from. As a kid, I was always a raw competitor in everything. Whether it was table tennis or a game of Uno, I just hated losing. And I think over the years, and probably with maturity, I've felt better with defeat. He further elaborated how he is still a sore loser. But I'm still in some ways a sore loser where I just fucking hate it, you know? So when I flip or have those moments of rage, it's when I believe I could have done it. The times when I was miles off, I wasn't throwing chairs because it was more of a case of, hands up, I don't know what to do. He then gave an example of a situation where this side of his character comes out. If it's a situation where I'm a tenth off, but I know the tenth was on the table and I didn't get it, that's when it just eats me inside. I'm probably better at channeling that now, and I've kind of injured myself breaking things in the past, so it's not smart either. He then reiterated his thoughts to sum up his words. Michael, my trainer, knows when I'm like this to kind of hug me and restrain me until I calm down. It's funny, because people probably wouldn't expect that from me. I'm an easygoing, happy guy, but when there's competition in place, I'm a bit of a fucking psychopath, I guess. Fast Feed Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has stated that they're more motivated than ever and they expect to be in the hunt. So we are all looking forward to the debut Grand Prix in Saudi Arabia. It's a fast street circuit with long flat out sections and several high speed corners lined by barriers, meaning it'll be high risk and reward. Just a few days ago, we lost Sir Frank Williams. He will be in all our thoughts this weekend and will try our best to deliver a performance that's worthy of his racing spirit. Red Bull's Sergio Perez has explained that the Jetta street circuit looks like a very fast circuit, so he's looking forward to driving on the track in real life. I don't think I've ever driven on such a fast circuit with so many high-speed corners. It's going to be quite a challenge. Those points in Qatar and the last three races were very important for the championship. We were able to close the gap to Mercedes. Now it's time to go for it. We have nothing to lose. His teammate Max Verstappen added that it seems like a really fast track, so there's no room for error. Of course, there will always be a bit of guesswork as we haven't driven on the track there yet. It's going to be interesting. I'm feeling calm. I know that I will always try to do the best that I can and we'll just find out where we are going to end up. There's still a lot of racing left to do. F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali pointed out that F1 is an international sport with an incredible level of awareness. When a country commits to invest in a project like this, they know it's going to be in the spotlight a lot. I believe that will also make a difference in Saudi Arabia. I've always said that you can't see change overnight, but Formula One will help accelerate change. Retired F1 world champion Nico Rosberg feels that it's certainly not easy for Max because it's the first time he's been in a situation like this. And then against the most successful Formula One driver of all time, in that respect, he already deserves the greatest recognition. Will the race in Saudi Arabia be entertaining? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.